it's here. The successor to everyone's favorite gimbal named after an Australian bird, <laughs> the Weeble S. Zhiyun has sent me this gimbal for the purpose of making this video, and I'm super excited about it. I was a huge fan of the Weeble Lab, and I just couldn't wait to get my hands on this next generation. But it does make me wonder though, what's actually new and different about it? Uh, who is it for, and is it worth the asking price? Now some of those questions you're gonna have to answer for yourself, but after having used it for a few weeks, I gotta say, I'm sold. And we'll go into more detail as to why. Now before diving in too deep, I just wanna say that using the Weeble S has been an absolute joy. Some of my favorite features are back, like the compact form factor and the two-in-one quick release plate. But there's a lot of very small but crucial changes that mean the whole world. Diving in, the first thing I noticed is that it looks every bit as compact as the Weeble Lab, and that's because it is. But there are a few small key differences to the overall design. The locking latches, which are used for balancing your gimbal or storing it away, have been uh, switched out for a different design, making everything feel and look a little bit more unified. The adjustment knobs for balancing the gimbal are a pretty welcome addition too. It's been much easier to untighten, adjust, and then retighten than it was with the Weeble Lab. So when I first attempted to balance my Sony a7 III and Tamron 28-75 lens, the difference was obvious. There is a lot more space for being able to balance your camera setup on this gimbal. Not only that, with this setup, I even have space left over, which I found really helpful for being able to attach things like filters on the front of my lens. I even went a little bit crazy and slapped on an anamorphic adapter to the front of this thing because why the heck not? In the description, I'll leave for you guys a camera and lens combination compatibility list for you guys to check out, just in case you're curious about your own setup and if it's compatible with this Weeble S. Turning the thing on, I could immediately feel the extra power and torque of the motors. It's a little bit hard to describe, but if you get your hands on one and test it out, you'll see what I mean. Heading over to adjust the motor strength, there's this surprise feature called Auto-Tune. Or at least it's a surprise to me, I didn't know this was gonna be a feature. Typically, you would just set the motor strength in your gimbal to low, medium, or high. Instead, Auto-Tune tries to optimize the strength and power of each axis separately, which should lead to steadier footage and possibly better battery life. One other surprise feature is that you can change a bunch of gimbal settings directly on the gimbal itself. Whereas before you would have to download and connect to the ZY Play app. This makes it really handy for quick setup or when you're using an external monitor and simply don't need the app. Now I've been testing two different setups. My Sony a7 III with Tamron 28-75 lens and my Zcam E2 with Mica Cine lenses. Both of these camera setups balance perfectly on the Weeble S, whereas with the Weeble Lab, they didn't work. For the Zcam setup, I've also been testing the zoom slash focus motor, and I really like it. Focus is accurate and fast, it's pretty smooth to use the wheel, and overall, I'm rather satisfied with the response. For my Sony camera, connecting via the included cable controls zoom while maintaining in body stabilization. So far, shooting with the gimbal has been a great experience. Everything has been very smooth, fast, responsive, and I haven't noticed any sort of stuttering or vibration in my footage, unless it was kind of just my own fault. You know, like bad technique or whatever. This Weeble S has about every shooting mode imaginable, and all of the modes work as expected. Combining lock mode with the follow mode trigger remains a favorite feature of mine on these Weeble gimbals. 
One mode that feels very improved is the go mode. Because of the extra motor strength and motor torque, things are much more responsive on this mode than they were before. Now this is great for following fast action, but I really like it for whip transitions, which is where you would whip out from one scene and into another, cut the two together, and bam, you got some magic. I also find vortex mode to be a lot more useful now too, since you can adjust the roll access directly on the gimbal, you can get some very smooth and fluid results, or if you're feeling a little bit crazy, you can quickly adjust it and get some pretty dizzying results. Ah! Now, one big omission when I first received the Weeble S was image transmission, but it's not actually gone. In fact, it's back and better than ever before. For starters, it uses HDMI, so it's compatible with virtually any camera. It's got 1080p output resolution versus the 720p of the Weeble Lab, and it has dual external antennas, which I have found to drastically improve both the reliability and distance of the wireless connection. In the future, they're gonna be releasing a receiver. And with this receiver, you'll pair it to the transmitter and you'll be able to have a wireless uh, monitoring solution using whatever external monitor you would like. Now, the receiver isn't out yet, but stay tuned because in the future, I'll have a video dedicated to the new image transmission system, how to set it up, how to use it, some cool tricks. We're gonna do some tests and yada yada, so. Stay tuned. <laughs> now, the new image transmission comes in one of three different packages available for the Weeble S. The basic package is essentially just the Weeble S and it's 439 US bucks. That's a really good price. So then there's the Zoom slash Focus Pro package and that's 519 US bucks. That of course includes a zoom and focus module that you can use to control your camera's zoom or even manual focus or control the aperture of a manual lens. Then there's the big kahuna, the image transmission package. This comes with the gimbal itself, the external motor, the phone holder, and of course the image transmission module. And it comes with just about every kind of HDMI cable. There's even a wireless remote coming soon too, which has wireless motion controls, which looks kind of neat. Can't wait to test that out. Stay tuned for that, because there's a video coming on it. So who is this thing for? Who should be buying this thing? Well, if you have the Weeble Lab, that's still a great gimbal. But if you find yourself reaching the limits on compatible camera and lens combinations, then the Weeble S is a great upgrade. For everyone else who's either looking for their first professional gimbal or maybe considering switching from uh, one of the other guys, <laughs> the Weeble S, there's just a lot to love. And it has some really cool features that I just haven't seen anyone else offer before. Is it worth the price that Zhiyun is asking? I'll let you guys be the judge of that. But that's it for today. So thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we have a whole number of videos coming on the Weeble S, some of the new accessories, how to use all of this stuff, some shooting tips, etc. We could go on and on. So subscribe and stay tuned for that stuff. Let me know too if there's anything that you guys want to see in some of these upcoming videos. Just hit me up in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. And uh, yeah, that's it. Until the next one. I'll see ya.